in the mature brain, neurotransmitters and neuromodulators are used mostly for communication between neurons or neurons and other elements uh, of neuronal tissue. But in the immature brain, they also serve as a neurotrophic factor. So acute orchestration of uh, activation of neurotransmitter cascades, activation or silencing, is critical for synaptogenesis and formation of functional brain network and basically for normal brain uh, development. Basically all neuroactive drugs that are used in psychiatry or neurology uh, somehow interact directly or uh, indirectly with uh, uh, neurotransmitter systems. And uh, it raises an uh, important question on whether uh, these drugs can affect normal brain development. Uh, indeed, a lot of attention was uh, paid or is paid for many years uh, to the effects of prenatal exposure to various uh, drugs, but so-called behavioral uh, teratology uh, that is focusing on uh, possible disturbing developmental effects of neuroactive drugs when brain is exposed postnatally or perinatally uh, is uh, really not uh, in the um, center of attention now. Benzodiazepines are used in all age groups of patients, including neonates and children. They are known to increase uh, inhibitory uh, activity of gamma aminobutyric acid, or this major inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain, and uh, their effect is mediated by their interaction with specific subpopulation of kappa A receptors. Studies in uh, rodents clearly show that the benzodiazepine exposure during brain development results in persistent modification of many brain functions, behavioral alterations, cognitive deficits, and these enduring uh, functional effects are occurring when these drugs are administered after neuronal differentiation, but before complete maturation of neuronal network. In study I'm presenting uh, here now will be focused on possible detrimental effects of really short-term benzodiazepine exposure. We selected clonazepam as a model drug because uh, it is used uh, in pediatric neurology to treat seizures and also in psychiatry to treat anxiety in uh, various age groups of patients. Um, study was performed in male Vistar rats and clonazepam was administered in two doses, either half or one milligram per kilogram uh, during five consecutive days starting at postnatal day seven uh, to prevent possible unwanted effects of organic solvents that are usually used to dissolve benzodiazepines, uh, we prepared suspension. Uh, Benzoclonazepam uh, is between 80 and uh, saline and control animals were receiving just uh, solvent uh, in a corresponding volume. We performed uh, many different functional tests but because of time I will focus here now only on uh, behavioral uh, parameters that uh, I think are yeah, of clinical relevance, mostly on uh, effect of uh, such a short-term treatment uh, on social behavior and its development and also on cognitive functions. Short-term exposure to clonazepam resulted in really severe alteration of uh, social uh, behavior. After relatively short uh, isolation, when uh, baby rats are put together with unfamiliar stranger, uh, they are provoking partner uh, to play. Uh, they are really eager to play to get some social contact. Uh, this behavior was, however, uh, almost totally suppressed in an animal's uh, experiencing clonazepam uh, in the neonatal uh, period of life. Uh, their um, play behavior was decreased and they basically lost interest in uh, 
social uh, contacts. Indeed, we were interested whether uh, this uh, behavioral abnormality is uh, just specific for uh, animals around puberty, but uh, we found out that play behavior uh, here on this graph you can see just one uh, parameter of play behavior, play fighting, is uh, suppressed uh, during whole development, uh, since a moment when uh, animals are uh, playing or starting to play. Um, we believe that uh, this is a really uh, important uh, interruption of uh, normal development because normal play behavior is absolutely necessary for development of social skills uh, for future. Another important question indeed is whether uh, this early exposure to benzodiazepines, or clonazepam in this case, can somehow affect uh, cognitive functions uh, later in life. And uh, interestingly enough, we found uh, changes, uh, shifts in learning abilities uh, in adult animals exposed uh, to clonazepam uh, in neonatal period. We selected the uh, classical Morris water maze test uh, to assess this. In this test, animals are uh, actually asked to find the uh, hidden platform in a um, uh, pool uh, full of water. And they are exposed to this test uh, repeatedly, so uh, uh, we can see whether they are learning or not. And as you can see on this graph, uh, control animals are uh, uh, learning uh, pretty quickly. Uh, they uh, are doing very well even during second and third test. Uh, and uh, animals uh, that uh, received only lower dose, half of milligram per kilogram per day of clonazepam, were also doing uh, very good. Uh, animals uh, receiving higher dose, one milligram per kilogram, and uh, I have to point out that this is still uh, therapeutically relevant dose for uh, uh, rodents uh, is shifted. Uh, animals were learning uh, this task, but they actually did not uh, reach the same level of performance as their naive uh, control siblings or uh, siblings that uh, were receiving um, a lower dose of uh, clonazepam. What are possible underlying mechanisms responsible for behavioral alteration and we saw in our study? We found that early exposure to clonazepam can change properties of several receptors. Receptors that are directly associated with mechanism of action of benzodiazepines, like GABA-A, and uh, benzodiazepine receptors that are actually forming uh, specific subpopulation of GABA-A receptors. Uh, but we also found uh, alterations in GABA-B receptors and glutamatergic receptors, both NMDA and uh, AMPA, uh, that are not directly affected by uh, benzodiazepines. Alterations in receptor binding properties as well as in the receptor structure or composition uh, were found uh, a short time after uh, the therapy cessation, but also a long time, approximately two months uh, after the end of treatment. And uh, we hypothesize that uh, these changes we can uh, see uh, shortly after therapy discontinuation are actually responsible or at least involved uh, in the remodeling of uh, neuronal network that is uh, building up during uh, this period. And chronic changes uh, are affecting uh, synaptic activity and synaptic plasticity. Uh, later in life, and both together are responsible for behavioral alterations uh, be found in our uh,
Overall, he demonstrated that the neurodevelopmental disturbances uh, of GABAergic system, in our case induced pharmacologically by administration of benzodiazepines, GABAergic drugs, uh, are associated with the development of behavioral dysfunction. Uh, both uh, severity and pattern of functional alterations are uh, dose dependent, but uh, we can see that certain behavioral parameters like social behavior are much more sensitive to these disturbances than uh, cognitive functions. And uh, we speculate that uh, changes uh, both early and long term at the level of GABAergic and glutamatergic transmission are playing a really important role in uh, these uh, neurodevelopmental disturbances.